Welcome back, YouTube. So if you haven't heard already, last night the news broke that the some Tesla integration uh, for Dogecoin has been happening in the back office, and that has been confirmed today through multiple sources. In today's video, I'm going to speak about what that means exactly for Dogecoin and touch on that spike that we saw last night as well. And I think that for going in the future, we'll see just how quickly Elon is moving with Dogecoin and Tesla. And I think this is a really great and bullish sign overall for the coin. So we know as a few weeks ago, he announced that we were going to uh, start with Tesla merge and kind of see how it goes. And we already see that they're working uh, in the back office. So it looks like he already has the plan to go ahead and move forward with Tesla having Dogecoin accepted for payment um, already, um, even before we actually even integrated with completely with the uh, merch for Dogecoin. So it looks like this is the plan um, as well. So he's sticking to his word um, as far as what we believe was going to happen last year. And he's moving really quickly um, to get things started this year as well. Yes. And just looking at the chart here uh, for Dogecoin, we saw this spike up around last night, um, around the same time that this news actually broke um, before we uh, had a bit of a sell off and we came down. So we saw that's the power behind this announcement. But overall, um, as you guys know, we talked about this a few uh, weeks ago, I believe right around the time that uh, Elon made the announcement for the uh, Dogecoin and Tesla merge. Um, so we, as far as from where we are in the market now, we have a lot of big catalysts coming up, which is great. And I believe that's going to play a huge fundamental factor in overall in Dogecoin success. But we also have to look at the big picture. The big picture is we're not, uh, while these catalysts are going to build Dogecoin up and build the floor and make Dogecoin more of a, um, a solid option in the eyes of all the institutional partnerships we're looking for to gain that utility, we can't allow that to be like the sole fo uh, focus of this and, we, and ignore the big picture. The big picture is we potentially have a mass amount of money that could be leaving the market within the next few months. And I don't want everyone to kind of get caught in the uh, the short term uh, aspect of it without uh, acknowledging the overall uh, big picture. Now, are these great prices to buy Dogecoin? At? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I am very excited about these prices. Um, as I mentioned a while back, anything below um, 19 cents is absolutely amazing. But we have to look at the picture saying that, OK, even outside of um, these like short term gains or this um, uh, these spikes done by uh you know, media, YouTubers, whatever, um, we have to look at the the bigger picture and say, OK, well, what is the longevity of this? Should I be buying? And, and of course, if you are long term on the coin, you should be buying regardless and not simply waiting on these catalysts. But if you look at the market overall and what's going on, we have the um, constriction pretty much uh, looming with the Fed and what may happen as far as where the money leaving the market there. We have to take into account that Dogecoin, uh, just like any other coin, it's highly unlikely that it's going to go on a solo bull run um, against the market. Uh, typically, most of that money that comes in is going to be uh, institutional money, especially what we've saw over the last year. For us to get to around one dollar, we're going to be looking at roughly around one hundred thirty five billion dollars for us to have a one dollar evaluation injected into Dogecoin. And in, in the grand scheme of the market, that's really not a big deal. But overall, as far as what's important to make it happen and for it to be stable, we're going to have to be in a healthier market. Catalyst, the Doge, um, Doge One satellite, these are going to solidify Dogecoin and provide those hard floors and strengthen the floors that we uh, already have and put, and put us in great positions to rebound. But when we look at the, uh, the overall facts, we should just be focusing primarily now, if you're long term on the coin, um, in my opinion, you should be uh, increasing coin count. And dollar cost averaging, bringing down and putting money aside to say that, OK, if we do get a break to the downside, if the Fed uh, does move forward with their um, uh, tapering and raising the interest rates for uh, this year, what am I going to do about it? And I think that needs to be the primary focus. I woke up this morning, I saw a bunch of emails uh, asking about, OK, is this going to mean that Dogecoin is off to the races now? And again, this helps Dogecoin. Don't get me wrong. This is a really, really big deal for Dogecoin. But as far as where it's sending Dogecoin or this announcement, um, sending Dogecoin to five dollars and it just, um, you know, starts receiving, you know, hundreds of billions of dollars uh, because of this partnership. That the answer to that is no, that's not how it works. The market in general has like a cycle. And, if you know, if, if coins you can have you can influence certain coins. Right. So like if Doge, excuse me, if um, Amazon came out right now and said we're going to do a Bitcoin deal or something like that. 
bit, people are going to rush into Bitcoin, you're going to see that similar spike reaction that we saw uh, last night around the time of the, uh, this announcement. But in, or, unless, uh, in order for it to change the trajectory of the coin or even the market, we're talking hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of billions of dollars are going to have to be injected into that to, in order to make that happen. Typically, um, that doesn't happen until the, it's favorable for institutions and retailers to start pumping money in there. This is why I say retailers shouldn't be buying on bull runs because off, more often than not, that's not uh, the retail sector that's pumping the coin. So you, what you want to do is be buying in times like this and preparing yourself saying, okay, well, if they, we do get a break to the downside, if they do rebalance their portfolio, um, we're going to you know, take action and start investing in the coin. And if you don't know what I'm talking about as far as for uh, rebalancing the portfolio and the interest rates, I'll put a link to uh, the video in the description, possibly in this video. Um, I went over it in great detail yesterday. But what you need to be doing is if your DCA is anything over 15 cents right now, if, and I'll, I'll phrase it like this. If my DCA was anything over 15 cents right now, I would be working aggressively to get it down, especially if I'm long term in Dogecoin. I do well, you know, whatever I could, you know, Uber or whatever to generate revenue to start bringing that DCA down. Because, again, what, the, what, what is that going to do? It's going to give you options. It's going to give you the leverage that you need to take profits. Um, you know, not be under pressure as far as for short term volatility, whatever is going on with the Fed, whatever the current news is, any hiccups. It just gives you a lot more options versus having that huge spread, especially if you're long term. This is what I, I would do and try and get it to as close to 15 cents as possible. And then again, if we do get that break to the downside, depending on the Fed, um, I would certainly buy in that window just to increase coin count and literally get the most bang for your buck, because I do believe that. If we, if the Fed moves forward like they have been talking, and we get this breakdown, Bitcoin goes around 20k, Doge gets that break to like 12 cents, possibly lower depending on um, retail um, momentum. That is the last time we're going to see those prices. So, especially with these types of catalysts coming out, which is why this video and why uh, it's so important right now that we kind of take into effect that yes, this is actually happening. All these catalysts and everything, this is really happening. So we have to make sure that we're on top of things and not waiting until we get like this short. If you're not, if you're uncertain and you're waiting and say, OK, well, I'm going to wait until, you know, it starts running and then I'm going to jump in. Just know that you're, you're positioning yourself similar to what a lot of people did last year when you have opportunities. Looking at Dogecoin at these prices, in my opinion, it's like what a lot of people did when Dogecoin was like two to five cents. And they were like, OK, well, it's not going to go up anymore. It's not going to go to 10 cents. It's not going to it's not going to do this. It's not going to do that. It's over. This is what I believe a lot of people are doing now, and we all know how that went. So this is my message to you. If you are bullish on Dogecoin, if you are long term on Dogecoin, these catalysts are happening. They are coming out. So make sure you are happy. Well, I say that make sure you are happy with your current position. You are happy with your current coin count so that um, when we when the market turns around and we get this, um, we finally get some concrete information as far as what's going to be happening at the end of Q1. You are happy with the outcome um, if we uh, do get the um, break to the upside in the event that they say they're going to slow down uh, raising the interest rates and then the market just literally turns around because the fear will be gone. Make sure you're happy with your coin count. That's all I have for this video. Uh, if you found value in this video, please consider giving a video a like. It helps YouTube share it with additional people. Also, subscribe if you'd like to hear more from me. And don't forget about BlockFi. If you open an account with them, you can get up to $250 and some of your favorite crypto, including Bitcoin and Ethereum. I appreciate all of you. Thank you. And until next time.